Hello, I hope everyone is doing well. Now, about six weeks ago, I said that I had an announcement, and if you read the title of this video, it is probably not what you expected. And this isn't necessarily an announcement that I wanted to make, or something that I wanted to happen, but unfortunately I am going to have to get surgery and I guess I'll just start at the beginning. So back in January, I got a cold and one of my lymph nodes swelled up really bad and I was pretty concerned. So I went to the doctor and they were like, oh, it's pretty normal if you have a cold for your lymph nodes to swell up. But if it doesn't go away in like a few weeks, come back and let us know. So it never went away and I went back and they said, okay, let's get an ultrasound. I got an ultrasound and it came back abnormal. So then I got a CAT scan and that showed that I had a solid cystic mass in my neck and that I needed to get it surgically removed. Sorry, Georgie has the zoomies right now. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but he has been just frolicking. So when I first heard the news that I would need to get surgery, I was devastated because this was in mid-March and I was planning to run World Cross Country at the end of March. And I thought that I wouldn't be able to do it, that I'd have to get surgery right away and that I would have to take time off and it could ruin my entire track season. Luckily, the doctor said that there wasn't necessarily a rush on getting this removed, that it was almost positively benign and that I needed to get it removed because there was a danger of it growing and obstructing my airways and also they couldn't biopsy it until I got it out, but that none of that was urgent. So I was like, okay. Great news, I will put this off until October when my season is completely over and done with and I can just use this as a reset between you know years of running. But then the hurricanes hit and there was a national IV shortage. So my surgery got rescheduled from late October to early December. So that's why after the Golden Trail World Finals, I was originally planning to have that be the end of my season, but then I ended up extending it and doing a couple more races because I was like, well, if I can't get the surgery, I wanna just keep racing because I don't wanna take time off and then have to take time off for the surgery as well. So yeah, that's kind of what's been going on. And I'm honestly really nervous and apprehensive about surgery because I've never been under general anesthesia and having my neck cut open is like absolutely terrifying to me, but I am really excited to get it removed because honestly, like I just hate the way it looks in pictures and videos. And since I know it's there, I absolutely cannot miss it when I'm looking at photos of myself. And obviously like confidence doesn't just come from appearance. Like you can, you know, smell really good or be really good at running or be funny, whatever it might be. But like feeling good about how I look is something that matters at least somewhat when it comes to confidence. And I feel like I'll be so much happier seeing like photos and videos of myself once this thing is gone because it just stresses me out knowing that it's there. So yes, I'm terrified of this surgery. And like, I know that the closer it gets, the more scared I'm going to be, but I am really, really excited for it to be over and done with. But in the meantime, I'm trying to stay relaxed, keep life as normal as possible, and still enjoy the little things. And one thing that I've been really enjoying lately is Scentbird. Scentbird is a subscription fragrance service that sends you fragrances every month so you can try new, different fragrances without the risk of buying a whole bottle. Scentbird is the sponsor of today's video, and this has been really appealing to me because I struggle to commit to a single fragrance because I don't want to get it and then get tired of it. With Scentbird, you can take a little quick is, and it gives you personalized options and also helps you branch out from your normal. They also have very high-end brands like Prada and Versace, as well as more niche brands too, so you can try different things, such as their current Strawberry Shortcake Fragrance Collab. Your first month is only $8, and after that it's just $18 a month, and you can always skip if you don't want to get any more fragrances. They are small and travel size, which is perfect for someone like me that's always going all over the country and the world to different races. I still want to smell good, you know, obviously. So I was really excited to try some different fragrances and I actually got Gucci Guilty, which I was stoked about because I would not usually buy myself that luxury of a perfume. And this one smells like sweet, but almost oaky and woody in a way, but I love it. It's got a little bit of an edge to it. Makes you feel a little bit risky in a way. And another fragrance I got was Monsera Paris Roses and Vanilla. I think that the label says that in French, but I don't speak French, so I don't want to butcher it. And this one just smells so sweet and floral and delicious. It 
kind of is like, I would want to drink this if I knew it wasn't a fragrance because it just smells like dessert, but in like a subtle, nice, inviting way. If you'd like to try Scentbird, scan the QR code or use my code Ostrander to get 55% off Scentbird. You also get free delivery right to your door and a free case. You get the product for half price, which is only $8. Thank you, Scentbird, for sponsoring this video. But anyways, I wanted to talk a little bit about what this surgery will mean moving forward with my running. I am going to have to take a couple weeks off after this, which is unfortunate, but I kind of planned for it, and that's why my season got stretched on so long. I am not excited to take those weeks off, but I am excited because last week, David and I had a meeting and we set out my whole schedule for next year, and it's very diverse and exciting, and I get to do everything that I love of, and I'm literally so stoked for it. I can't even describe like I've been buzzing all week just thinking about these races coming up But I also feel like I just need to get this surgery done So then I can like fully embrace and lean into the next buildup and the surgery is definitely hanging over me a little bit I'm very very apprehensive about it but also just like okay get me on the table let's get this over and done with i know it needs to happen and i feel like i can't enjoy my future life until this is done but with that said this announcement is not a fun announcement and i wish that i weren't making it at all but after this is over, I do have some really exciting life announcements to make, such as my next race, and maybe some other really fun thing as well. So stay tuned. The surgery is obviously not going to be great, but there's lots of really fun stuff coming up, which I'm excited for, and I just have to get over this little obstacle, this little hurdle, and then I'll get to enjoy it all. So yeah. I'll be vlogging the surgery, you know I will. Spencer's gonna be there, so hopefully when I'm coming off of general anesthesia, I'll say some entertaining things. We shall see. But anyways, that's all for now, folks.